Hello and welcome to another Ginger Man episode. Today I'm doing another curveball, something completely out there. I've decided that I've given myself a £20 budget and using the Fife train system, I'm going to see how far I can get round Fife. Basically, I'm going round the Fife Circle. Um, I don't know how much the train ticket is, but I've not eaten anything today, so hopefully it's not expensive and this £20 goes further than I'm expecting. That'd be great. We're looking for bargains and we're just looking to circle Fife and have a good day. So aye, Fife Circle, show me what you got. Peace. Look at this, I've timed it perfect, the train is arriving just as I get here, you can't write that. <laughs> I've looked it, I've looked it. And it's deep because it's that time of the day. So I've jumped off at the second Dunfermline stop because I got talking to the ticket guy. What a really good guy. Great at his job, what a legend. Um, but he was letting me know that from this direction up towards Glenrothes, it doesn't really do the full circle anymore. And this is because they're changing the timetable to start moving out towards Leaving, which if we remember a few years ago when I was in Leaving, I was talking about this very train route opening up, which, I mean, it's an absolute tragedy that they shut it down. Um, but anyway, I'm gonna go back onto the other side of the, the track and try and get a train to Inverkeven now. He didn't charge me, so that trip was free. Um, but yeah, here we are in Dunfermline. So the plan is from Inverkeven, we'll head up the coast of Fife. Almost as if we're going towards Dundee, but we won't go to Dundee, we'll get off at Mark Inch, and then we'll f try and find a train back down that goes via Recife. So, we're not actually doing the full circle, we're sort of... I don't know, it's maybe like an oval? It was never a circle in the first place, let's be honest. How long we got to wait? Well, we're lucky with that first one, I didn't have to wait long. We've got this wee shelter to wait in if it is cold. No metros left though, sadly. Right, 11.03. Oh, you've got to be joking. We've got to wait till... We've got to wait 25 minutes, so first loss of the day, 25 minute wait at Dunfermline. Now, there's no shops here to get a wee juicy or anything, and I've only brought water and 20 quid with me, so that's the challenge of the day.
Right, here's a standard ticket machine. Let's see. Right. Destination finder. See if we say Mark Inch return. So, really, 970, that's alright, that would leave us with £10.30. This is the one. Card payments only? Have you seen that? Card payments only. I'm only dealing with solid cash today. Uh, so, you know, that's a shame. Let's cancel that and wait for this train to Inverkeven. So, whilst away, I've just challenged my friend a game of chess. Let's see what he's, he's up to today. Well, the train station is pretty busy now, but we're a minute from the train arriving. Um, I missed the quiet train, but this, this is an Edinburgh train, so that's why it's busy. Queen Margaret. This train is for Edinburgh Waverley. The next stop is Dunfermline City. The good thing about the train is you can charge as you go, so we don't have to worry about running out of power today. That's, that's something. Just to go back on myself. But we'll go back through the side, but we'll go back through Dunfermline. We are now approaching Dunfermline City. Right Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. Then we're safe, then in Inverkeven, then we're getting off to Inverkeven, then we're going to try and find ourselves to Mark Inch. But I think Inverkeven's like the main train stop in Fife, so it'll be full of trains hopefully and go north. We are now approaching Rossyth. Please mind the gap when alighting from this train. We are now approaching Inverkeithing. Change here for services via Aberdeen and the bus link to Edinburgh Airport. Right, I've made it to Inverkeithing train station. Now, the next train that comes goes all the way to Lookers, which is in Fife, and I've actually not done a video on Lookers specifically. I passed it on the Fife Coast, so I guess like we're going to Lookers. Um, I didn't have to pay for the train here, so so far we've spent zero. Now there is a wee shop in here I think, but it is shut, so I'm gonna have to wait for the next stop, which might be in Lookers, but maybe I'll get off somewhere along the, the, the route. So I think there's a few trains go that way, because they're all heading to Dundee, so. Aye, it's only like a two minute wait here. Told ya, Inverkeven's the place to get a train. I'm off the train in Aberdour because the train was one, really busy and I didn't want to sit on a busy train all the way up to Lookers. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to pop off at Aberdour. I've not been here in a while. Um, and when I filmed Aberdour, I didn't have a drone, so I thought, come here, get some lunch, fly the drone a bit at the beach, and then get back on the train and head up. Now, my favourite baker's is here, but I don't know if it's still open or not. I hope it is. The Aberdour Bakery. I think it's gone. What a tragedy. Uh, it really is beginning to feel like spring now as I walk through the the very beautiful town, sorry, the very beautiful village of Aberdour. It really is nice here. Um, I don't know how the people here eat since they closed the bakery down. That's really depressing. And I was like, I need to get a sandwich or something. I don't want to stop off somewhere. I just want an in and out shop. So I think there's one along here. And if there's not one along here, then 
I don't know. Anyway, the plan is I'll go down to the beach and I'm going to walk along to Burnt Island along the coastal path because I love that bit. That, the bit between Aberdour and Burnt Island is probably one of my most treasured and favourite bits of the, the Fife coastal path, so I'm going to just enjoy that, hopefully with some food in my belly. Amazingly, I've not had to spend a single shekel so far, and God bless the purple shop of Aberdour. I just spent a fiver at the shop on some snacks and treats for the journey. There's the, the train tracks north which we'll meet up with again in Burnt Island. Of course a shower has started of rain, um, which is reminiscent of the Fife Coast because when I got here it was raining last time. Um, but aye, I'm going to go find some cover somewhere and uh, eat some food and we'll get on the, the road to Burnt Island. It's raining. It's like spring rain. It smells like spring. You can smell. You can smell the ground bustling with, with new plants, new life growing. But um, yeah, it's quite nice. It's invigorating through the soul when you breathe it in. Some people might think that's a little bit mad, but if you know what I mean, you'll know what I mean. I've made it to this little shelter just as the rain stopped. That's sod's law. Anyway, what have I got? I've got a roll. I've got some cooked ham. <laughs> Pizza pepperoni to go on it. A crunch of some iron brew. And some classic big hero hoops. So the plan is to eat this. And then just boost along there. I might even get the drone up still. Right, well, the sun's well and truly out. I'm back on the road. Better get myself to Burnt Island. That was fun. Just had a wee snack. Uh, I might have overdone it with the pepperoni on my roll. Um, but that's fine, because I don't feel so hungry anymore. Is that my train? Wait for me. What a beautiful day. Incredible views over to Edinburgh. You can't see on the GoPro, but I can see the Hill End Ski Centre where I was just a couple of weeks ago. Back here on the, the Fife Coast slash Fife Circle route slash Fife Oval train route, um, I'm quick marching my way to Burnt Island to nip on the train to go further round Fife. Yeah, it's gone from raining and it got a little bit cold when I stopped for my lunch and now I'm roasting. So yeah, it's really, really starting to kick into spring now. It smells like spring, they've got the wee shower in the morning, followed by the sunshine in the afternoon. It's beautiful, the daffodils are growing, we'll get the, the bluebells soon, the cherry blossoms, I'm excited to get just out and about more and to walk the Oakles, which will be coming very soon. Um, and I have a few announcements to make about it over the next few episodes. Here we are, I remember this exact bit on the Fife Coastal Path. There was a guy standing right there shouting for his dog. But on the present day, we're about to walk under the train track that I will be going back on. Do you know, there's something you learn when you go out walking. <clears throat> it's not just good for your health. I mean, there's many reasons why it's good for your mental health. But if you stay watching the telly, the news, TikTok, and just stay watching constant media, you'll start to feel like the world is full of bastards. <laughs> and that's just me being honest. Like, the world is full of bad people, and everyone's out to get you, and just look out for yourself, love yourself. Which, to an extent, yes, love yourself, but 
when you actually get out walking about and you have natural yeah, interactions with people that are really happy, really friendly, which for me nine times out of ten when you're walking is what happens, you realise that the truth, the majority, is just the peaceful, the dull, the happy, the, the relaxed. And it's the minority of the issues that we focus on because it draws our attention more. But when you pay attention to this, the natural beauty, the natural interactions with people, the truth, the love, then it's, it's fine, no one's a bastard. The world's all right. And we're very lucky and blessed. Um, so I, that's what I take from this little bit of walking, getting off the train and coming along here. That's what it's given me today, that feeling, that insight. And here we go, this is like the main attraction on the walk here. It's like the cool water. The waterfall against the rock. Right, we're almost at um, Burnt Island. I'm not gonna lie, this walk is, it's, it's like all these feelings of walking the Fife Coast are rushing back. It's making me just want to keep walking up the coast. Yeah. Oh, man, amazing. So far I've counted four trains going past me, which uh, any one of those four could have been my train. But I'm sure there'll be plenty more when the time I get there. I'm hoping just to arrive and then within 30 seconds the train comes and we're on. <laughs> National Cycle Network. That's through here. I didn't know this bit was here. That's a new new path on Lockton Burnt Island. Which it turns out is a place that until I started filming and actually done a proper video here had more layers to it than I ever could have imagined. Just walking up the big dipper heading towards the high street. I'll be at the train station in jig time. Happy days. There we go. We're finally at the train station. We're going to be reunited with the circle line slash oval line. We made it. And what side? I think it's the other, it's gotta be the other side. Yeah. <coughs> There's a little Perth calling at well maybe it's this side, I think it's this side. Yeah, it is this side. Okay, so the next train is in twelve minutes and that's gonna be taking me to Ladybank because that one goes to Perth and Perth's not in Fife, so looks like we're going to Ladybank. It's been a while since we've been in Ladybank. Uh, so, hey, let's see what Ladybank's got for us at the next end of this train. And then from Ladybank, um, I just got to work out how to find myself the full circle back to the scythe. This train is for Perth. The next stop is Kinghorn.
Right, here we are in Ladybank. I got skin £9.30 for a single from Burnt Island to Ladybank. So that leaves me with about £6 left to get back <laughs> to recite in this £20 challenge. Oh no. So let's just go and uh, see what Ladybank's about at the train station and then work out the route back. Now it's probably been about two and a half years since I came and filmed in Ladybank. So off the top of my head, I can't quite remember where I am. Near King's Kettle. I like King's Kettle. So I'm just going to have a wee walk around. I've got about half an hour till the train goes back the way. Because there's no other train that can take me towards Glen Rothes. Which is annoying because I want to go around the circle. Yeah. But here we are, Ladybank. The memorial, the Hague Memorial Garden. It's chilling here for 20 minutes. We're deep into Fife now. I can see the Lomans. We passed the Lomans on the train. It was splendid. I really enjoyed it. I'm just going to have a wee walk through this bit of garden here and work out how I'm going to get back. I think come up with a plan. Because if it's another £9.30 uh, to Burnt Island, then I'm going to go further back than that. Ah oh, man, I don't know how it was so much money. It wasn't even that much money to Mark Inch earlier when I looked at the machine. So, I don't know. I'll need to talk to the next ticket guy. He's been making pals with the local pigeons. Hey, good news, I've managed to pick up a ticket from Dalgetty Bay, from Kirkcaldy to Dalgetty Bay for £5.50. The last of my money. It just means that I'm definitely good to get home. Because Dalgetty Bay, I'm getting off, I'm finishing the day in Inverkeven. Because I can walk home from Inverkeven train station easy, 20 minutes. So Dalgetty Bay is only one stop away, so they just chucked me off at the next station after they found me, which is where I want to go. But it doesn't matter which way you go, you can go all the way around through Glen Rothes, so that's what I'm going to try and do. So I got off at Kirkcaldy with the expectation that I could hop to Glen Rothes from here, but looking at the timetables, I can't, it just shoots up north either via Perth or Dundee, so... The Five Circle doesn't really exist anymore. It's a myth, the only way to do the Five Circle is to come back on yourself and go up to Glen Rothes via Dunfermline and then come back down that way because it seems like it just stops up at Glen Rothes and then comes back down that way they don't want to do the circle anymore and I guess it is because of leaving So the next train isn't until 15.08 Well I've got half an hour in Kirkcaldy I just wasted 15 of it wandering around here trying to find a way to Glen Rothes, but, you know. <sighs> you live and you learn. I had it in my head that the train just went round in a circle all the time. There was always, in my head, every hour there's a train going round in a circle over five, but turns out in reality that's not the case. The, the timetable system's a lot more complicated than you can imagine. Um, but... As we learned today, it's going to be opening out to Leaven, and when that happens, I'm definitely taking the train out to Leaven, and I'll take you on that journey with me. So, I've spent a collective of £14.80 on my tickets today, and £5 on my food. I've got 20p in my purse. 20p left. Um, and this ticket's got to get me to Inverkeven now. I thought, honestly thought, when I've got on the first train, naively goes to the guy, oh yeah, can I just get a, a five day pass? And he's like, that doesn't exist, son. I'm like, ah, well how do I do the five circle? He's like, eh. It turns out we don't do the five circle anymore. But he was really sound about it, so he didn't even charge me nothing. So I got like my first three or four trains for, f I've had a few trains for free, let's just say that. So I've been on about five today. 
Right, let's go meet on this next train. That's me just back in Inverkeven for the for the beautiful rain coming on. However, I did see some seals basking on the rocks on the way back home, so that was really nice. You can see the start of the rail bridge just up ahead and I think that's where I'll end it under one of the most iconic rail bridges in the world and I guess today's been all about the railway so what a place to finish and here we are the end point of today's journey episode 200 and off the top of my head 10 uh, it was meant to be the 5 circle I would still call it the 5 circle but I don't know what shape I done today. Sort of went from Recife to Dunfermline to Dunfermline to Inverkeven, Inverkeven to Aberdour, Aberdour. Walked <laughs> to Burnt Island and then Burnt Island to Ladybank, Ladybank to Kirkcaldy, Kirkcaldy to Inverkeven. So I don't know what shape that is. Make of it what you want, but it's been amazing. Just good to get out and do something a little bit different. And aye. I've got the rest of Scotland to explore, so don't worry, there's loads of videos going to be coming up and aye, I feel like this is just the beginning of a, a new journey now. Anyway, thanks for watching. Peace. <laughs>